Hello again, internet friends. In today's episode, I'm here to tell you about beard styling, sentient water, a surrealist train station, and a Japanese shoot 'em up with magical girls. I'm Josh. Thanks for joining me. I'll be your host. Welcome to Free Play. You know, one of the things I love about free computer games is that their designers often experiment with offbeat concepts. I see a lot of these games as sort of snacks for the brain, things that can amuse for a half hour or an evening, but can then be set aside with no real loss to the player. You know, I actually see this disposability as an asset rather than a detraction. Sometimes one doesn't have the time or money to invest in a big AAA title, and sometimes, since so much money goes into making those big games, studios tend to play it safe rather than taking interesting risks. That is a big part of my motivation for doing this show. There's a lot of fun, free stuff out there that's made with a clear love of creativity, and I am excited to introduce you to it. Of course, that being the case, not every game I show you is completely polished in every aspect, but if you keep an open mind, you just might find something cool. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Trimmer Tycoon Trimmer Tycoon is 50% business simulator, 50% dexterity game, and 100% ridiculous. As the owner of a salon that exclusively styles beards, your goal is to keep your clientele happy and the money flowing. Color and shape beards to match pictures of your customers' wishes. A meter will show you how happy each is with your work. Customize your barbershop for bonuses, hire employees, and become the beard master you've always wanted to be. Drop a lie. So this isn't the most polished platformer I've ever played, but at the end of the day I loved it anyway. Some games are all about style, and Drop Alive has it by the <clears throat> bucket load. I mean, just look at it. The storybook artwork speaks for itself, and who couldn't love this little guy? Drop Alive puts you in control of a cute little water drop traveling from the kitchen sink to the big lake outside. It's a dangerous journey. Turns out lots of things can hurt a drop of water. He is even prone to simply drying up, and you'll need to find leaks to sit under to rehydrate. To get past certain obstacles, you'll need to sometimes transform into steam or ice. This creative use of water's solid, liquid, and gas forms was one of my favorite aspects of the game, and I honestly wish the designers had made more use of it cutting some of the precision-based jumping for a more relaxed, puzzle-driven experience fitting the soothing art style. That said, this is without a doubt one of the cutest games I've played in some time. Off-Peak I am a sucker for surrealism. I love the freedom it gives both artists and their audience. I think games are an especially suitable medium for surrealism, and Off Peak is a tiny masterpiece of the form. In a bizarrely decorated and even more bizarrely populated train station, your task is to collect all the pieces of a ticket so you can leave. The real purpose of the game, though, is simply to soak in the atmosphere. Look at the paintings on the walls, or the sculptures dotting the landscape. Interact with people, or eavesdrop on their conversations. Bob your head to the experimental electronic soundtrack. All in all, this game will probably take you about half an hour to complete. It feels like wandering a giant art installment, or a piece of experimental theater. I don't pretend to know what any of it really means, but with surrealism, that's kind of beside the point. If it were easy to explain, it would lose its magic. And trust me when I say, this one casts a spell. 
words don't do it justice. You just have to try it for yourself. Jigoku Kisetsukan, Sense of the Seasons. So you like difficult games, you say? Well, don't let this one's cutesy look fool you. Jigoku Kisetsukan is a top-down bullet hell shooter that packs a punch with its fast-paced action. The formula is simple enough. Swarms of enemies spray thousands of colorful bolts for you to dodge. Memorize the patterns, keep out of harm's way, and upgrade your weapons, blasting your way through a gauntlet of bosses. I guess there's some sort of story here about magical girls doing magical things, but honestly, none of that matters. This is an action game, through and through, with multiple characters to unlock and several difficulty modes which provide plenty of challenge for even seasoned arcade fans to sink their teeth into. Happy shooting! So there you have it. As always, every game I discussed in this episode is totally free to download, and I've provided links down below. I also have left a link to the off-peak soundtrack, because, fun fact, the game was designed specifically as a delivery method for the music. The game's designer actually plays cello in the band that wrote the soundtrack, which I just think is really cool. Check them out. If you do give any of these games a shot, or if you have any that you think I should see, leave me a comment below. Also, please click like and subscribe so you can keep up as I post new episodes. For now, though, you're free. Now go play.